His Excellency, Prime Minister Som Chai Wong Sawat, members of his delegation, Vice President De Castro, Secretary Romulo, Congressman Cuenco, other members of Congress, the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, His Excellency Edward Joseph Adams, and other members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of the business and private sector, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, Prime Minister, welcome to the Philippines. And congratulations on your election as Prime Minister of Thailand and on your assumption as Chairman of ASEAN. All eyes may be glued to the world stock market, but under your leadership, ASEAN does not lose sight of the often unseen impact of the global economic crisis on the long-term needs of the poor. Last month, you called the leaders of the nations of ASEAN to come together to seek common ground on ways to coordinate assistance to our economies, just as our countries have done so on so many other important issues. And we are doing this in a way that puts the interests of the poor and dispossessed ahead of the rich and the powerful. And we are doing this in a way that offers a global solution to a global challenge. We all agree that we must instill confidence in our market economies, but we must also take action to provide hope for those who need it most. And it is clear to us under your leadership the coordinated action among nations is the better path than going it alone. Our global financial system must learn from its mistakes and embrace fundamental reforms so that this global storm does not turn into a tidal wave of despair. We count on Thailand as chairman of ASEAN to champion the cry of the poor as we work together to solve the global financial crisis. And we are very pleased, Your Excellency, that under your leadership, we are strengthening the Chiang Mai Initiative into a large and quick dispersing fund for liquidity. Thailand and the Philippines were among the five founding countries of ASEAN 41 years ago. Bilaterally, we have a longer history of kinship and cooperation Next year, we mark the 60th anniversary of our diplomatic relations. As the second largest economy in ASEAN, in terms of gross domestic product, Thailand is a key player in the region and in the Philippines. Thai companies, including Siam Cement, Ducis Hotel, Boom Room Grad, and many others, whose local CEOs are here with us tonight, are among the foreign direct investors in our country. And the CP Group, one of the largest food companies in the world, we hope will be expanding their presence in the Philippines soon. Several Filipino companies, including San Miguel, Universal Robina, and Oishi, have made their presence as investors in Thailand. Thailand also plays host to 10,000 Filipino expatriates in the kingdom, many of whom are teachers, executives, and musicians. We are happy with the development of our relations. In the Philippines, we have been working tirelessly to address challenges arising from the slowdown in the global economy, combined with high oil and food prices, which thankfully are beginning to calm down. But we would like to take this opportunity to thank Thailand for your support, being one of the great rice exporting countries of the world, with your vast and naturally fertile Mekong Delta, and having no typhoons, you have helped us succeed in ensuring that our country's food supplies remain stable and we put food on the Filipino table. No matter what actions we take, however, we must work together to resolve the global economic issues surrounding the world today 
if we are to see any significant recovery in the world economy. This is what the ASEM meeting last month, where we met each other, the ASEAN Plus 3 meeting convened by Your Excellency, and the forthcoming G20 Summit aim for. On this note, I ask everyone to join me in a toast to the health and happiness of their majesties, the King and Queen of Thailand, and to the success of Thailand's chairmanship of ASEAN. Mabuhay. Congratulations. Thank you. Deputy Prime Minister, congratulations.